Members of the U.S.-led Ukraine contact group met in Brussels Tuesday, with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin making clear that Ukraine is not alone in its fight against Russia's invasion. Asked where things stand, Austin had this to say. What Ukraine wants to do in the, you know, at, at the first possible moment is to establish uh, or create uh, a momentum uh, and, uh, and, and establish uh, conditions on the battlefield that uh, continue to be in its favor. Uh, and so you know, we expect to see them uh, conduct an offensive uh, sometime in the spring. Austin said the 54 countries represented in the group will do everything they can to keep the ammunition and arms Kiev's needs flowing as Russia ramps up its attacks. The Russian Defense Ministry released these images Monday, saying they show artillery and air defense units operating in Ukraine. The U.S. Defense Secretary said Russia is sending large numbers of new troops into Ukraine, but many are ill-equipped and ill-trained. Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, noted Russia continues to push forward in Ukraine's Donbass region. Well, they are attacking in the Donbass right now. Um, their progress is slow. It's a war of attrition. They're taking heavy casualties. Uh, their leadership and morale is not great. Um, and they're struggling mightily. However, uh, they do have numbers. A Russian army spokesman said Monday that what he called volunteer assault units, with the support of missile and artillery forces, have captured a village just north of Bakhmut. Ukraine has conceded the situation is difficult around the embattled eastern city. Ukraine has asked for Western fighter jets to defend itself, but Austin said he had nothing to announce on that. He added the U.S. has not prevented Poland or any other country from providing its own aircraft, noting the decision would be up to each individual nation. Cindy Sane, VOA News.